Hey guys, today we are checking out this beast of a laptop from Illigear. It is called the Illigear Aeros X and honestly, this is better categorized as a mobile workstation. Spec for spec, this is better than a lot of desktops out there. Let's check it out. This specific unit is running a 10th gen Intel i9 processor clocked at 2.8 GHz and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Super, 32GB of DDR4 RAM and 768GB of storage. I know that storage sounds weird but we'll get into that later. So, app don't block the laptop. All right. So everything mentioned just now can be customized to your needs. Need more RAM? There's four slots. Put 32 gigabytes in each and you'll have 128 gigabytes of RAM. The Ares X is also equipped with three M.2 SSD slots. My configuration weirdly came with three 256 gigabyte M.2 SSDs. Now moving on to the other features of this laptop. The 17 inch display is running at 240 hertz. Yes, 240 hertz. That's insane for a laptop. Even my desktop monitor is running at only 144 hertz. There's a full-size keyboard with individually lit keys. The trackpad is massive and very responsive. One of the better Windows-based laptop trackpads. Plus, it comes with a built-in fingerprint reader. There's a HD webcam and the laptop also supports Windows Hello. And this is what it looks like. Honestly, for a laptop webcam, this is not bad at all. It's probably just a bit saturated and dark, especially around my eyes here. But the field of view, I'm right in front of the laptop and you can see there's so much space that's caught on the camera. It's great that there is a ton of login options for this laptop. The detachable battery is 97 watts, but I guess you guys know that this is not going to get you far considering what it has to power. Lastly, there's two downward facing speakers that provide some really rich and deep sounds. Oh, RGB! I almost forgot. There's RGB on both sides and also the back, which looks really nice, but unfortunately, you're never gonna see it yourself unless you are using the laptop in front of a mirror. In terms of port selection, the Ares X honestly has it all. Starting with the left side, there is a full size SD card reader, two USB 3.0, a mic and headphone port. On the right side, there is two USB Type-C, another USB 3.0, and also a Kensington lock. At the back, you'll find one USB Type-C Thunderbolt, two mini display 1.4, a full-size HDMI, Ethernet, and two charging ports. Oh, and before I forget, the power bricks. Yes, you heard that right, bricks. Because there are two power bricks. This is what you need in order to power this monster. Elegear has been thoughtful enough to include this casing kind of thing to make it easier to manage the power bricks. It's both cool and mad at the same time. I feel like I've said so much and we're still just talking about the specs of this laptop. Let me show you what it looks like on the inside. So this is what the underside of the laptop looks like. Before we remove the bottom, it's best if we take out the battery. There are 8 screws holding this bottom plate together, so let's take it out. Look at that. Is that not one of the most beautiful feats of engineering that you've seen? First off, we can see the massive exhaust fans. There's a small one on the left and a bigger one on the right. Look at this heat pipe setup. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't think I've ever seen that many in a laptop before. As mentioned before, there is a total of four M.2 SSD slots. Three is here and it's fully occupied. There's one more right here. The RAM is located right here. There are two slots here. And if you take this setup apart further, the other two slots are right under the keyboard. But I'm not going to do that. I'm scared I won't be having a working machine to return back to Illigear. Situated perfectly in the middle here is, as you guessed it, the desktop size CPU. I can see some parts of it here. Man, I wish I could just rip this apart and show you guys, but I can't. So that's a brief look on the inside of the Illigate Ares X. As you can see, upgrading this laptop even by yourself is very easy. So how does it perform? I ran Cinebench and Unigen and the results are really amazing. Have a look for yourself. Firstly, I ran Cinebench R23 which will test out the single core and multi-core performance of the CPU. Here's our specs again and it managed a single core score of 1281 
and a multi-core score of 11,282. That's pretty amazing for a CPU that is in a laptop. Next, I ran the Unigen benchmark with the 1080p extreme settings. This will test out the GPU performance. We got a score of 6,627 and when you compare the results online, the 2080 Super in here does not disappoint. Here's a reference against another 2080 Super mobile card and also against a full-on 2080 Super. Now from my personal experience, it runs very well. I mean, how can it not? I've not experienced any performance issues such as thermal throttling thanks to its jet-like exhaust fans. For my tasks such as game streaming and video editing, this laptop works like a charm. I'm not sure what you need to do to push this laptop to the max, maybe simulate the start of the universe. Before we get to the last part of this video, let me show you the control center software where you can control the keyboard, the LED, exhaust fans and other things. So here's the control panel. You have five settings to play around with. They are your power modes, flexi key, LED keyboard, GPU overclocking, and fan speed control. In the power modes, you have four self-explanatory options to choose from, fast and easy access to manage your laptop performance. Flexi key is where you set up macros. It's a nice feature to have built in, but I prefer using my stream deck. You can also set up profiles. What's cool is that you can even set up mouse macros. Next, we have the RGB settings. You have a handful of preset effects to test out, and you can control the speed and brightness of the effect. There's also an option to individually control each key color. You can go crazy with this. Not to forget that you can also control the light bar at the back of the laptop. Pretty similar settings to the keyboard RGB. Moving on, there's the GPU overclocking page. This basically shows you details about your GPU. The overclocking is actually done in the power mode section that we saw earlier. Lastly, we have the fan speed control. You have three quick access speed settings and also a cool feature that will prevent dust buildup by ejecting it out. So that's a brief look at the control center application for the Ares X. I may really like this laptop, especially since it's better than my desktop setup in every single way, but it also has some issues that I'd like to tell you guys about. Firstly, there's no hiding from the fact that this laptop is massive. It's 4.5 kilograms with the battery, but you know, you're not just gonna travel with the battery, you need the power brick, power bricks, I mean. And this is about another two kg. There's also the cable that goes to the wall plug. So that is just something to consider if you are thinking about moving around a lot with this whole setup. Besides that, I think you guys saw this coming, but the fans, they get extremely loud. Here's a sample of what it sounds like. Now this isn't Illigius or anyone's fault. You really do need some big fans and efficient cooling solutions in order to cool a laptop of this caliber. But just like my previous point, it is something to consider, especially your environment. Maybe you're bringing this to a library, everyone's gonna be looking at you. Lastly, the typing experience can be pretty painful if you don't make some modifications. Let me show you. This is the edge of the laptop. See how raised up it is from the table? This will kill your wrist. Thankfully, you can overcome this by raising the back of the laptop, using an armrest, or going all out with an external keyboard. So how many kidneys do you need to sell? So how much will this specific model cost you? About 16,000 ringgit. With that being said, should you still consider the Ares X? As with all extreme performance laptops or even mobile workstations, it's for a specific group of consumers. This laptop is more powerful than the average desktop out there and it even has the price tag to put those desktops to shame. But if you need unparalleled performance in a fairly mobile setup, then this laptop might be for you. You can find more details and the purchase link in the description box below. If you have any questions, leave them as a comment. That's it from us. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys for the next video.